Yeah, I'm much happier with that. Nice little camo swirl. Um, not too happy with that, so I'm ditching that color entirely. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got one for you today. I don't know if it's a good one because I'm literally just starting out. Y'all literally know more from the thumbnail than I even know what this is gonna turn out like. I, I've got no clue. I'm hopeful, because these are for customers. We're gonna be making some baits today uh, for two customers that have two completely custom orders. Um, I've got one where we're going to make like a, a neon yellow black with blue flake. Um, a little bit of silver flake in the neon yellow, kind of like a black and a chartreuse mix, but chartreuse obviously is a little bit more translucent and won't show up with the black. Um, so we're gonna make it a little bit m less opaque. And we're gonna be making swim baits and stick baits of those. Then I've got another order that wants a camo pattern, um, like a lime green, like a lime chartreuse with a dark like pumpkin green color uh, swirled together in a stick bait as well as some red bug stick baits, and then a bait of my choice. So let's get to cracking. We're gonna be using our dead on, dead on plastic right there. Um, I have thoroughly mixed it up, um, getting kinda low, but I think I've got enough for this order. So we're trying to get a little crazy, um, get a little crazy in the shop tonight, doing a bunch of swirl patterns and uh, a bunch of custom colors. Anyway, let's get to the video, how about it? Let's roll the intro. All right, so gonna make red bug out of this. I'm gonna start with a plum. Plum color is actually pretty close to red bug, believe it or not. Stuff is almost solid. Two times color, if I do it, stuff is thick. Couple drops of brick, a dead on. Darken it up just a little bit more. I mean, this is like playing in kindergarten with colors. The red bug has a little bit of a, so that's actually turning like almost a fire engine, which is not exactly the color we're looking for here. Let's get some black grape. Put one drop in there of that. There we go. One more of that. That's we're on the right track there. I just need it to be more thick. So what I'm actually doing, because in here it looks really dark, right? It looks really, really dark. Well, look what I've done. Let me wipe off my hands before I touch my camera. What I've done is I actually got some on my, my knife there and put it on the table. So as you can see right there, not as dark as I want it to be. It's still a little too clear. I need that to be a little bit more dark. So we're gonna keep working with this cup right here to uh, darken it up some more. As you can see, it's a little too clear. Just not a whole lot of color to it. This was our second go. We got it a little darker than the first one. As you can see, a little bit darker. We're on the right track. And then this one, let's zoom in a little bit. This one, and I know y'all can't really see the progression, is got some purple in it, a little bit more purple, but I need it darker. I need to add a little bit more red. And we got that one. It's got the red, still a little bit too purple. This one is about perfect. And if you look at the tail on this guy, those are about even. This is a red bug zoom worm. 
the actual color there is about even. Now I need to add some green flake to it. That's what's in there is green flake. Lots of glitter in this. secret ingredient that y'all don't normally see me add. Salt, baby. Add just a little bit of salt to that. Not enough to make it like, you know, go fuzzy, but enough that uh, it's gonna help the sink rate on this thing. And there you get that, that wonderful shimmy. You know, your stick baits get the, the shimmy on the ends as they go down. That salt's going to help that, help that sink rate just uh, ever so slightly. All right, come on. Shoot. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, so this color, while pretty, I mean I'll agree that that's really pretty, is not red bug. It's a little too dark, not translucent enough, um, not too happy with that. So I'm ditching that color entirely. I'll probably keep those baits myself. Um, I think that would actually go really good in like a crawl color. So we'll look into doing that. But we're making up a new batch of red bug, which I think, just by looking at it, should be much better. I'm much happier with it. So we're gonna hopefully shoot these this time and they're actually gonna turn out like I want. Got here. Now that is translucent. That is red bug. Much better. All right. Well, I'm about to make my last thing of red bug stick baits. I need to start on the black and blue. So we're gonna take our black here. Black always gets everywhere, all over the fingers. Always. And we're gonna go heavy on this black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blah, 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 blah. A lot of black, a lot of black. Heavy on the black. Heavy on the blue flake. This one's an easy color to make. Hopefully it won't be that hard to shoot. I mean heavy on the blue flake. Mm-hmm, that looks yummy. A good black and blue right there. Do some smaller blue in here just a little bit. Give it a little bit of a shine. All right, that black is done. Let's go for the yellow. Um, I'm just sort of popping in and out. I've mixed up my black with blue flake right here. Uh, it looks really, really good. A lot of blue flake in there. And I've also mixed up like a yellow chartreuse-ish with a bunch of silver. I mean, a ton of silver flake in there. Those are gonna go in a swirl pattern in some rippers, which are the uh, swim baits, as well as the crawls, the little creature baits. And they're not really crawls, they are 
definitely creature baits though. All right, we're gonna give these a shot. Let's see if these mixed very well, if at all. Hopefully they did. Uh, we got a little bit of a swirl. More like a little bit of a yellow belly on some. Not too bad. Definitely got a little bit of a swirl going on. I can dig that. It's really hard to do a swirl on a swim bait. Alright, let's go again. Let's go for that guy this time. Alright, let's open these up, see how the uh, creature baits turned out. Hopefully, they look as good as the swim baits. Yeah, I think he's going to be much happier with this, these than he will the swim baits. They just, there's more room to just shoot these so you get a, uh, a better swirl. It's almost like a highlight. It looks really darn good. All right, final ones for old Robert. Let's see what we got in this one. Hopefully it looks pretty good. Another last creature bait run here. Yeah, I, I really was not totally impressed with the first ones I did. Really heavy on the uh, that chartreuse yellow there. But later on I got predominantly black with a little bit of chartreuse, which is really what we were going for because I know what jig he's running with this. Um, and the jig color he's running only has just a smidge of chartreuse. So I feel really good about those creatures that we've just made. And let's see how these swim baits turned out. You're gonna get some extra swim baits, Robert, because there was a slight imperfection in the body because I actually think that imperfection is not, I mean, it's in a place where it's not gonna affect the bait at all. Oh, these are heavy chartreuse, a little bit of black. So you're going to have some variety here, Robert. A little bit of black, heavy chartreuse on that one. Uh, black tails. Again, it's a swirl pattern. You never know what you're going to get with these. Um, but I think you'll be pretty pleased with those. All right, let's do a run of stick baits for the extra little bit for uh, Ryan. And then we got to get to those camo baits which who really knows how those are going to turn out. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if these black and blues, which is a dynamite stick bait, turned out. Oh yeah, I fish with them. I definitely would fish with them. I like that. I don't know if it can pick up on the subtle blue, but I like those a lot. Gosh, those are good stick baits. I love that overload of blue flake on black. Oh my gosh, it's just, uh, it gives me the gives me the tinglies.
trying to make it where the yellow doesn't overpower, but I really need a contrast. I need it to be much lighter. You know, I've told y'all on a lot of these videos that when you're making colors like this, you gotta go on the lighter color, you need to go further than you think you would need. Like right there, that's a lime green right there. Let's go one, two steps further than we think we'd need because the dark color is going to overpower it and you really need it to stand out. It's almost, almost Guggen green, really. That's crazy. All right, so the other thing that's got to be added to this green is some black flake. I may actually want to go lighter or darker or no, 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 no. I may actually want to go lighter on this color. I know that sounds crazy because it looks light enough. I just think when I mix it, it's really going to overpower it. Alright, I think that's probably good. But let's start. Let's start with. Let's start with this guy. I know this is a brown ish. Again, not too worried about it because I'm going to green it up. That's pumpkin seed, very brown. We're going to take our green. We'll throw a bunch of it in there. And you'll watch the green pumpkin start coming out in it. One color I was not worried about. Whoop, just a little bit of yellow. I hope those are contrasting enough. I really do. We're going to see here shortly. I may only shoot one first. See where we're at. See what we got. How good or bad is it? Not great. Not great. That is a uh, far too light. Far too light. I like the difference in color. They just did not shoot very well. So those will be freebies. All right. So let's talk about what I did over here. The lime green added more black flake because, well, it needed it based on what I did over here on the, the first little test. And over here, the darker one, I added more black flake, but more importantly, I actually added some black, like some black dye to get it darker. Um, and while that seems crazy, I think it worked. Um, it looks a lot darker, it looks better. I think we're gonna get a better contrasting color, and we're gonna shoot it now. Alright, I'm hopeful that that is a pack. Um, and we need to do one more of them once we're done. Then I can take a shower and go to bed. You may have noticed uh, when I had the block, I was actually twisting it too. That makes the spiral a little bit tighter. Um, which in the picture he sent that he wanted me to try to match the best I could. I did tell him that it was going to be difficult to get that tight of a spiral. And that mine would probably not be that tight of a spiral. And uh, Ryan was okay with that. So... Uh, but I'm going to try to get it as close as I can. I'm not going to do the lazy way and just sit there and milk the cow. I'm actually going to try and tighten the spiral up as best as I can. Alright, fingers crossed. Here we go. Yeah, I'm much happier with that. 
nice little camo swirl. Hopefully y'all can see that. That's pretty good looking bait there. Nice little camo swirl. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Camo swirl right there. How do you like that? Whew. I'm tired. I am really tired. It's about 1.30. Yeah, no, it's it's exactly it's exactly 1.30. So I've been out here since nine. It's what four hours? I'll lay all these colors out real quick and we'll, we'll talk about them. That red bug is opaque. You can see through it. Looks really, really nice. As opposed to this one, which you cannot see through. Hopefully y'all can see the difference between the two now. Now, don't get me wrong. I think this is a dynamite color. I really like that color, but not exactly what I wanted. Although you are getting a pack of these for free, Ryan, because I screwed them up and I've got no need for them. So I'm gonna send these to you for free. But there is Redbug, or at least my interpretation of Redbug. And I really like it. Again, you can kind of see through it there like you're supposed to. And then we ended up with these fellers right here, which was something Robert B requested. And he wanted a black with blue flake and a yellow, almost chartreuse, which that is chartreuse, um, with silver flake. And this is what we end up with. We almost end up with a black and blue with a yellow chartreuse highlight um, sort of swirled in there. Um, I hope you're going to be happy with these. Some of them have barely any yellow in them at all. Some of them have a lot of yellow in them, like the swim baits. Um, and the same can be said about some of the other, uh, like if we flip these over, it's almost all black. If we flip these over, almost all yellow. So. Again, that's what you get with a swirl. Um, stick baits really swirl really well. These guys, not so much. I think it'll actually still really work with the jig. It gives it a nice little contrast. Just something different for those bass to look at. And uh, I know what jig you're throwing this on. You're throwing this on a Wicked Jigs uh, Game Changer. And uh, that's actually gonna look really good on it. So I really like that. Um, I'm happy with those. You're getting a load extra of these guys, Robert, because, well, I made too many. Then we go back to Ryan's order and we have a black and blue flake. I'll see if we can get this to autofocus on these guys. Look how, look how pretty that is. Just a black and blue flake. Again, he said he fishes waters that are uh, really stained in the springtime, like most of us do with all the rain. And uh, black and blue, you just can't go wrong with it. And then we come to the camo color. And here's my first attempt. It's these guys, and I'll hold them up. You can actually see those are a little bit darker because we added black to it. Um, but I was not happy with these because I couldn't get a good contrast. Now, yes, see how light they are? I also had like some like almost solid light color on the back. So I wasn't happy with those, but you're going to get these for free. Um, just because these are like, you know, my F up pile. Mess those up. But then we come to these, which is where I perfected it. Now let's take a look at these guys. That, my friends, is a swirl pattern. Look at that. That is a nice looking camo swirl pattern on these baits. And uh, you've got two packs of these, my friend. See? There you go. We had to milk the cow on these and twist as we were injecting. Those are not done with their bath. These guys will be ready in the morning to be oiled up and uh, placed in bags so I can ship it out to you guys. Again, it's past 1.30 now. I've showed you all the baits. Hopefully y'all like them. Let me know in the comments what your favorite bait. Out of all these baits are, what is your favorite? Which one would you be most excited to fish with? Again, these were for customers. Um, just some stuff that you know, I dabble with. If you want to support the channel, order baits. Or if you want to save me some time, not order baits in the shop. Uh, order shirts, uh, hoodies, hats, and shirts. You know, we've got those. Uh, shirts are 25 shipped, 
Hats are 25 shipped and the hoodies are 40 shipped. Those are the baits we made. Made some pretty cool ones, I think. There's all my all my red bugs right there. There's the swirl. Look, that's got a lot of yellow in it right there. And uh, there's my mess up red bug. Hopefully y'all can see the color difference between the two now. And uh, more of Robert B stuff. So as always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And uh, again, leave a comment below on what you think your favorite bait is out of all of these and which one would you fish with. And uh, as always, hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding dong notifications if you wanna be notified anytime I drop a new video and we will catch you on the next one. I'm going to bed. I gotta take a shower and go to bed later. Bye.